Hang on, I've got it. I've got it. I'll wait till it stops. I'll wait till it stops. Ooh. Got it! <laughs> oh, no, there's another one. <laughs> we could just do this all morning. <laughs> Summer is just around the corner, <laughs> folks, and we all know what that means. Bugs and more bugs and more bugs. Insects galore. <laughs> so how can you yeah. keep the creepy crawlies away from your house and garden this summer yeah. without using nasty chemicals mm. for the very best natural bug repellent remedies? We're joined by our very own garden guru, Matt Lacey, who joins us from his garden in Bulgola, Sydney. G'day, Matty. Matt. How do we do it? Good morning, guys. Uh, how annoying is that sound, by yeah, the way? Yeah, it's annoying. You're lying in bed and you hear that little... Oh, it's terrible. Flies wait, wait, and wait, wait, wait. Um, Sorry, one no, of them. No, no. Another one? No. No. <laughs> Ow! Got it. Continue. Nice. <laughs> So, biological is the way we want to go. We don't want chemicals in the house. So, getting rid of flies, that can be quite tricky. You can buy these little uh, things from your local hardware that, that are supposed to get rid of flies, or you can make your own. Look at this. Just a bottle cut in half, some soap, some vinegar, and some sugar, and you put this in, take the lid off, and the flies get drawn into here, they fly do down they? into there oh. and they get trapped into the... Yeah, so that's a little way you can just do that at home. So, so vinegar, sugar, and... Water. Vinegar, sugar and water, that's right, yep. Mm -hmm. and, yep. So, so, and, and you swap it out for yeast if you've got those little gnats flying around, those little fruit flies as well. You can swap the vinegar for yeast and apparently that works with gnats, though I haven't tried it myself, but I've got some anecdotal evidence that that does work. So, so try that out. For mozzies, on the other hand, uh, it's a little bit trickier. And let's face it, mozzies are worse because they can bite you and there's evidence of that for days. You're itching for days. So there's things you can buy like this that plug in. They imitate the human breath and they draw the mozzie in, it comes to this light here and then it gets sucked into the fan and goes down into this little cap capture point beneath. So um, these sorts of things are quite good. Again, anecdotal, there's evidence that these high fr frequency devices can deter mozzies, flies, possums, um, rats even, if you get the right ones. Um, but I haven't tried them myself, but apparently they work. I have a couple of clients that have said they work, especially for possums, surprisingly. Okay. Um, the other thing with mozzies, around your living area, try and plant as many uh, really scented plants as you can. And I'm talking foliage scent like mint, rosemary, uh, lemongrass, uh, lavender, all those things will deter mozzies because they don't really like the, that strong smelling plant. Though, again, I, I've tried this out and I, I don't know if it works out well. I think you've almost got to be sitting in the plants to get rid of the mozzies. So you really got to hug yourself in those scented plants. So you might be better off with one of these other options. Okay, and just finally, any other little contraptions we can use um, to get rid of the bugs? Yep, obviously you've got your citronella candles. Yep. These add, add to the ambience, get rid of the mozzies. And then something as simple as this for, say, your slugs and your snails that get on your veggies is water and some espresso coffee. Oh, dear, steady hands. Espresso <laughs> coffee. Ooh. You get this in. Espresso coffee and water, they like the espresso coffee, can't be instant. And then you spray your foliage, you spray your mulch, you sp spray anywhere that you can get bugs uh, like snails and slugs. The other thing you can do is chop up chilies, onions and, and garlic, soak them in water, soapy water overnight, then take that water out, mix it in with 10 litres of water, and that's a general insecticide for wow. all of your plants. So you can spray that on anything where you're going to have in insects. So mm. that's another nice biological treatment. Very cool, Maddie. Love Thank it, you. Matt. More details on our website. Appreciate it.